so hello one welcome back to another mock test of combined technical general studies exam mock test and this video is very helpful for you in BSc mock test exam and before I start my class I like to announce this mock test the last test is today and tomorrow and if you're interested you can register in the mock test for more information contact in the whatsapp full test mock set mock and these are some of the questions that was asked in the previous questions previous mock test so you can check it out for more information contact in the whatsapp so let us start with the mock test first question which of the following is not the correct match so kundu correct no here first that is the acid present in tomato formic acid the acid present in orange citric acid the acid present in grapes tartaric acid or the acid present in rancid butter is butyric acid so it's a general science law question as a and these are some of the acids that are found in the uh, this fruits and vegetables so which is not present so the answer is what the answer is a that is acid present in tomato is not uh, is not formic acid it is tartaric acid not tartar, sorry, oxalic acid. Allah can also carry as orange the citric acid by grapes the tartaric acid by and rancid butter the butyric acid by. So the answer is A. It is in tomato formic nena oxalic acid by. So oxalic acid is a chemical compound that occurs naturally in tomatoes and some of the sources are vinegar the case, acetic acid as a CH3, CWH, orange the citric acid. Tamarind, that is imli or grapes the tartaric acid milk curd the lactic acid lemon the citric acid and ant idum chimdi lasting the ki by methanoic uh, formic acid and rancid butter the butyric acid by so this is the answer next question or nestle a uh, nettle sting the methanoic acid by in which part of the constitution the union and the state's administrative relations are mentioned that means state or central administrative relation to kundu chapter kundu part by that is is it a part 9 chapter 2 part 10 part 19 chapter 2 part 11 chapter 3 or part 11 chapter 1 so which is the answer so the answer is in chapter 2 part 11 of the Indian Constitution that is option A that is part 11 chapter 2 so in the Indian Constitution India is a union of states or a center state relation though in part 11 of the Constitution of India that is India la admin la legislative executive financial power distribution the sub part 11 the potter and and legislative executive financial powers within the center and the state or center state relation is divided into two parts that is chapter one legislative relation to article 245 to 255 and administrative relation to article 256 to article 263 of the indian constitution so let us go to the next question that is number three economy like the question grow so which of the following statement is correct regarding the term liquidity trap so liquidity trap kuna kiaza the last statement though. is it a it is a situation where money gets held in the banking system due to technical issues or number b in this situation the interest rate gets increases manifold or three open market operation helps in overcoming this situation or it is a situation when expansionary monetary policy does not increase the interest rate so liquidity trap to case liquidity trap to it is basically poisa pishi supply hojala money value money poisa to pishi hojale edo liquidity trap te phaji jemon that is it is a situation in which the expansionary monetary policy does not increase the interest rate so 
Liquidity trap is a situation in which the expansionary monetary policy that is increasing money supply does not increase the interest rate income and hence doesn't stimulate economic growth. Means quick was a little one, but we give poison a bishita little though. It like one so rich or it is it does it is it does not work like that because poison a bishi or a shigle though, mano saman kina sure though, and it will lead to inflation. So poison a bishi or the levy, utai levy. Problem like that, because there because uh, increase in money does not mean that it do growth rate increase job. It does not help to stimulate economy at at a certain point. Poisa la poisa wa increase kore but overall poisa wa noe it will depend on many factors like inflation, like economic growth, GDP. It also depend kore. So the answer is number D. Next question number four, which Among the following policies were used by the British with regard to the princely states of India. That is, British Kambakiki use question. That is, subsidiary alliance, blue water policy, forward policy, ring fence policy, and policy of masterly inactivity. So, British Kamba specifically done princely states they use question. That is, option one, that is, subsidiary alliance, that is, by Lord Wellesley. For that is ring fence policy of Hastings law. So these are the two policies that was used by the British in India. So let us study about the various topic. So here the answer to give this is one and four is the answer. Under the subsidiary alliance, the Indian rulers were forbidden from making any negotiations with other rulers without prior permission of the British East India Company. Basically, Lord Wellesley was basically, suppose it was one British country, agreement I should you cannot make agreement with other foreign countries like French or the Dutch or the Portuguese, English Manonadi, to the army Rakyo, and you will have to deal with them. So, subsidiary alliance by Dioja, it was used in the, with the princely states. Next. Ring of fence, uh, policy of ring fence decay is a little where in Hastings were used, 1774 to 85. So, it do company la territory ba bajaole alak manomba. So, ring of fence decay is a in this policy, in order to safeguard their own territory, the British were defending their neighbors from external invasions. Thus, these neighboring states had to maintain subsidiary forces at their own expense. These forces were organized and trained by the English. For example, the Nawab, uh, the company defended the Nawab Wawas from the Mysore rulers under the ring fence policy. Next, the forward policy of Auckland. So, Auckland was forward policy. Um, that it implied that the company's government in India itself had to take in initiative to protect the boundary of the British India from probable Russian attack. Masterly inactivity to John Lawrence La Kamaze. That is, which is a reaction to the disaster after the first Afghan war. Meaning, masterly inactivity means help no pro. Portuguese Governor General, that is, Francisco de Almeida, Blue Water Policy, Shurubushe. That is, Blue Water Policy, the Kunba Shurubushe, the Francisco de Almeida, or the Portuguese, Artege Kartara System, that is. Ito Portuguese kamba shuru kushe. So the answer is one and four. Next, the Russian traveler who visited the Deccan during the medieval period of Indian history described the condition of the Bahmani kingdom under Muhammad III was Russian traveler like that by Muhammad III la under the Deccan. So ito Russian traveler na nam konese. So the Russian traveler name is Nikitin or Athanasius Nikitin. Next question. The Constitution of India declares that directive principles of state policies are fundamental to the governance of the country because Keze. DPSP. First of all, DPSP do the Article 36 Polina 51 Takaze. The Indian Constitution. DPSP. Our fundamental rights can do the one article 2 of 2 35 
सो फंडामेंटल राइट स्पीच है डायरेक्ट प्रिंसिपल्स आई सो डायरेक्ट प्रिंसिपल्स तो के कारण इंपोर्टेंट आज सो द आंसर इज व्हाट द आंसर इज द ले डाउन द पॉलिसीज दैट इंश्योर द इकोनॉमिक डेमोक्रेसी इन एस्टेब्लिश अ वेलफेयर स्टेट सो बेसिकली डीबीएसवी दी के जगले द एक द वेलफेयर स्टेट एस्टेब्लिश करोले बट फॉर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया फ्रॉम 36 टू 51 कंटेंस द डीबीएसपी दिस प्रिंसिपल्स एम दैट इंश्योर सोशल जस्टिस सोशल इकोनॉमिक जस्टिस टू द पीपल एंड establishing india as a welfare state so i hope you got this next question who was the governor general of bengal when the permanent settlement was introduced in 1793 so permanent settlement of 1793 to kon ba introduced kuje it was introduced by lord corn wallis so the answer is corn wallis option b so let us study about the various governor general सो गवर्नर वालेज तो के को नजर गुले तो तक गवर्नर जेनरल देखिए बेंगल पर्मेन्ट सेटलमेंट सेवेंटी नाइन्टी थ्री देट इज पर्मेन्ट सेटलमेंट तक शुरू कर सो ये तो कारण आज गुले तो इट वॉज एन एग्रीमेंट विदिन द ब्रिटिश इस्ट इंडिया कम्पनी एंड द लैंड ऑर्स बेंगल टू फिक्स द लैंड रेवेन्यू और इन दो स्टेट देट इज बेंगल एंड बिहार एंड लेटर इंट्रोड्यूस इन मद्रास एंड वाराणसी और तो जमेंदारी सिस्टम भी माते सो जमेंदारी सिस्टम एस द पार्मेन्ट सेटलमेंट एक और यू कौन माजे लर्ड कर्णवालेस लर्ड कर्णवालेस तो ते इतना मन इतना एन पी एस यू पी एस तो सब तो ते सिल सर्विसेस तो तेरा शुरू कर इंडिया देट इज फादर अफ सिल सर्विसेस और दाय डिस्ट्रिक्ट जार्जेस भी क्रिएट कर और थार्ड एंग्लो मार्शल वार दे वॉज प्रेजेंट डुरी दर्ड एंग्लो मार्शल वार एंड थ्री दि अफ शेरिंग पटनम और ताय लो भी कॉडिफाई कर इन 1493. नेक्स्ट वर्न हेस्टिंग्स तो कौन आज गुले तो ही वाज़ द फर्स्ट गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ बेंगल एंड ताय इजारे दारी सिस्टम 1773 डिस्टब्लिश कर जे रेगुलेटिंग एक्ट भी डिस्टब्लिश कर जे पिच इंडिया एक्ट 1784 डी भी देख जे एंड सुप्रीम कोर्ट दे डिस्टब्लिश कर जे कल उधर विद एलिजा � The Chief Justice Tekshe, Ascetic Society of Bengal, we established Kushe. He was one of the founder. Only William Jones Kona Tekshe. Also, the William Jones Kona Ascetic Society of Bengal, we established Kushe. Only we were not six feet. The contribution Tekshe. And first Anglo Martha War Treaty of Salby Salby them did Tekshe. And the Anglo Second Anglo Mysore War Treaty of Mangalore did Tai Tekshe. So the answer is what Lord Cornwallis. Next question. Question number eight. That is aptitude. In the following question, select the odd number from the given alternatives. That is seventy-one, eighty-three, eighty-nine, and ninety-three. So the chart that can do odd as well. So if we take a look at the all the numbers, so the prime numbers as well. That is, they are not divisible by any number except one and itself. That is, seventy-one be the prime number as well. Eighty-three be as well. Eighty nine be the whole way. Ninety three though it is divisible by k is a three. That is three thirty one sir. Ninety three. So the answer is D. That is all are prime numbers except ninety three. Number nine. Question number nine. That is pointing towards a girl. Chetan said. Chetan said. She is the daughter of the only child of my grandmother. So how is Chetan related? To that girl. So, Chetan da koi se ki she, do mai ki to that is that girl. Do Chetan na se suppose Chetan, do Chetan na se. Do Chetan ba ta ki koi se do mai ki to ki she is the daughter. Ta mai ki aso she is a daughter of the only child. Ek ta child aso na. Only child of my grandmother. That is grandmother. So basically, ki koi se bolu do? Thala grandmother zha, thala child. That means mother. Thala bacha, thala mother. So thala mother na, but bacha to basically thala sister wo, and he is the brother. So the answer would be Chetan do. उधर माइकल लेती किन्हर लेते तो जाते यार ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स दैट इस ही इस द ब्रदर सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस
let us go to the next question and last question select the combination of letters that when sequentially placed in gaps of given letter series will complete the series that is c b dash db it is up to one liquor it is series at the soul first first series together it is it is the other way arrow at the pattern follow world to the soul that is c b a d b c c b a b b c c b a and d d c because so next so if we go on and write the uh, series we do at the pattern follow world if the answer will be option number c so just write the letter and see if they follow a pattern so at the pattern follow world we do it will be option number c so with this the video on this mock test number 10 has been completed and if you are interested in the mock test the link is provided in the description you can check it out and today and tomorrow is the last date for the mock test so i wish you all the best and thank you guys